Ready Ant is a nonprofit organization I started when I was in college. Um, I started with a team of people, also Japanese students studying in the US or American students. We all had this idea and these experiences where we felt that women in Japan, especially young girls, um, were kind of left to this narrow path of you're gonna go to college, gonna get married, have children, and that's it. And it's, you know, it's very narrow. And of course, some people do want to just go to college, you know, have a job, maybe get married and have children, but that's not the only option, right? Um, there's other options. You can keep working and you can have a family and keep working. Um, you can have two jobs. <laughs> you can have a lot of different options. Um, and then, so I felt that these options were not very visible for high school students. And especially reflecting back on myself as a high school student, I felt like, you know, my parents, the things they say were everything to me or what the teachers have told me are everything to me. And I didn't have a chance to explore a lot and hear voices of people who actually work in all these different fields. Um, so I thought that it would be a really great opportunity for high school students if they could actually speak to people, especially women who could be role models to them and kind of share maybe some of the struggles that they may have as a woman working in these different fields or going to different colleges, um, but also share the positive part. I especially really wanted to work on Ready And because I felt that my experience um, in the American education, especially in a women's college in the US, I learned a lot about what it, what gender is, how gender is fluid and is non-binary. Everybody is somehow related to this like big culture of how we are supposed to be only men or only women, but we really are not really just that. We're just very diverse. And I wanted to, I, I really put, I don't, I don't know, I really brought that, personalized that concept. And it gave me opportunity to explore myself, my sexuality, my gender, and all the different identities that I have. And then so I wanted to have, you know, other women in Japan to have that experience. They can't come all the way to the U.S. to have that experience. So then I wanted to bring that back to Japan and then have women just not think of themselves as a two-dimensional, just I'm a woman, but also you're a woman from what prefecture or like what kind of background, um, what kind of sexuality or other genders and think of them in three-dimensional ways, in inter intersectional ways. I feel really great when I have high school students who join our programs and our mentorship programs and come out of it saying like, it was a really great experience for them and they learned something new or, they really, really just enjoyed it genuinely because it was something that they couldn't learn in, in their own school or like in the communities that they've been. And a lot of them tell me stories about how their life is just so narrow, just going to school, maybe going to a prep, like a prep school after school. Um, and they never had a chance to talk to someone who went to college in the U.S. or um, studied something that they've never thought about studying and kind of opened up their possibilities and their eyes. And I really feel great when I have somebody, you know, come in and come out as a different person.